What's up, fellow gems? It's Seth from Tavi Sentian, and welcome to your daily reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gonna go ahead and get right into your reading. During the meditation, what I was told was this question Spirit said, Do you want your life to be one that is useful? Do you want your life to be one that is useful? And this is in reference to you and your purpose. Okay, you may not be fulfilling your purpose right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull an affirmator for you. What messages do we have for the Gemini Collective? Do you want your life to be one that is useful? Too many. Affirmator for Gemini. Do you want your life to be one that is useful? And this card says nature. I'm going to focus that for you. It is time to unleash your inner hippie and step outside of that man-made box. Take a walk in the woods. Smell those flowers. Hug some trees. You might think you're being ironic, like, look at me. I'm being all tree-huggy, tree-huggery and stuff. But you'll find that even then, those trees will hug you back. Trees come from... A time before irony, and their earnestness is impervious to our jaded humor. If that doesn't make you want to hug them even more, well, I guess you're a robot. All right, so I feel like with this card, I'm speaking about nature. This is not just about nature outside, the dirt, the grass, and all that, but your true nature as well. Um, there was a part of this card that really spoke to me. Step outside of the man-made box. So some of you all may not be being true to your purpose because you're too busy trying to be what people want you to be, what your parents, what your family expect you to be, and you're not being true to your own nature. Some of you all are artists, not doctors, not lawyers. Some of you all are musicians. Some of you all are spiritualists like me. And you're not being true to your nature. All right, what is the overall energy of this reading? And you already know that. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You are investing in something that is not worth your effort. You are not getting out of it what you were hoping to get out of it. And I feel like this is because... You are not doing what you are meant to do. You are not being true to your nature. Okay. Um, so let's pull nine cards for you, Jen. Queen of Pentacles energy. Nurturing energy. Earth energy. <laughs> having the creature comforts. Having comfort in life. Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Reciprocity. A charity giving taking. Um, too many. For some of you all, this is being led around, um, being, you know, led around, strung along. All right. Ace of Wands coming out in the reverse. Opportunities that are not working out. Um, inability to have new opportunities. Uh, feeling extremely burdened, trying to put down the burdens. Three of swords in the reverse. Trying to heal from some type of pain, some type of heartbreak, grief. Feeling stuck in your head, trapped. You're in a self-imposed mental prison. The lover's card. Being in alignment with your purpose. Hello. Your values, your principles. Making a choice. Judgment in reverse. Um, failure to see clearly. Refusing to make a judgment about a situation. Ace of Swords, and it's crazy 
I don't know if it was this one. I believe it was the next one. But for tomorrow's reading, I've already done the meditation. And the Ace of Swords or a sword it's like sliced through my, my vision. Okay. Um, so it's interesting that that's coming up. Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. Whatever it is that you are doing, I feel like this is about work or um, something like that. But whatever it is that you're doing in life, you're doing it because you want like acceptance. You want money. You want to be nurtured and taken care of. But if this is a job, it takes care of you well. You, you do get the correct pay for the effort that you exert. But what you don't get is any passion, any love, any, like you don't care for it. <laughs> like you're a robot, just like the nature card said, you don't care for it. So you're just going through the motions at this job. Um, you want to unburden yourself and you want to heal yourself of the grief that this situation brings you. But the issue is that you are stuck in your head. With the eight of swords energy it's, there's an easy way out there's a solution to all of this but the lover's energy is a card of making a choice all right choose what is in alignment with you choose what you are meant to do but we have the judgment card in the reverse so you're acting like you can't see you acting like you're legally blind like the epiphany hasn't come to you yet but it will you're going to have a breakthrough you're going to get some clarity all right, you're going to um, have to choose and make the right decision at some point. Okay, so let's clarify the judgment with the Ace of Swords. What's bringing about this, this clarity is your friends, your community. There's going to be someone who has a conversation with you or someone you have a conversation with about how you're feeling about the situation who's going to shine a light on this. They're going to let you know, like, if that's not something that you're happy with, then why the fuck are you doing it? Clarify the Queen of Swords, uh, the Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. You're doing it because it makes you happy for now, but taking action towards the things that truly make you happy are what you need to be doing with the sun energy in the night of wands. You need to be your own savior here. You need to do what makes you feel like you have purpose. Sitting behind a desk and typing at it on a keyboard all day doesn't bring you happiness. Okay? Um, knocking on doors all day, <laughs> uh, being a, a salesman or a, I don't know, voter registration person, like that's not bringing you happiness. Like whatever it is that you're doing that is outside of what you want to be doing is not bringing you happiness. So why are you doing it? You want to unburden yourself if you want to heal yourself from this grief? How are you going to do that? By putting an end to it. Ten of swords. By putting an end to it. Walking away from this. Okay? No matter who it hurts. No matter who it hurts. Mom, dad, stay mad. <laughs> like... Period. Okay, so let's get some monology messages. Monology, what messages do we have for Gemini? It's too many. What messages do we have for Gemini? Hmm. So the very first card we had says you and your loved ones are safe. Um, you're going to be all right if you choose to do what is in alignment with you, okay? So don't feel like you have to keep doing this. Otherwise, everyone suffers or you're going to suffer or you're not going to be okay. Spirit is saying that they're going to take care of you in this situation. Um, your hard work is paying off. Uh, yeah, what you're doing, you know, for now is making you money and all that. It's paying off but you're seeing success. But is you happy? In the words of T.I. <laughs> is you happy? Emotions are running high indeed because you're stressed. You don't want to be here. This is not what you want to be doing. You're overwhelming yourself. And finally, your commitment is being tested. All right? Your commitment is being tested. And typically, when that card comes up, I feel like your commitment to uh, whatever your chosen field, 
is in this case this is not something that you choose this is something that you let somebody else choose for you so spirit is saying we're going to test your commitment because we know that that's not what you want this is a test that they're expect expecting you to fail they're hoping that you fail because you're not going to be committed to something that you don't have the heart for. Your heart's not in it. It's going against your nature to do whatever it is that you're doing right now. And spirit wants you to get in alignment with what you actually want to be doing. So let's get some rebel messages. Rebel, rebel. Talk nice or don't. I don't care. But please tell Gemini what they need to hear. Please tell Gemini what they need to hear. So the first two cards um, speak about eating. Gemini, are you eating? Or perhaps whatever you're eating is trash or you're not eating enough. Because the first card that comes up says, have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. Eat you a fucking taco. The next one says, step away from that crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. Eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. For some of you all, this is literally about a diet. <laughs> like, this is against your nature. This is not what you want to be doing. This doesn't bring you happiness. This is some bullshit. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, but yeah, for others of you, because you're not happy in your situation, you are not nurturing and taking care of your body. If you are depressed over the situation, sad, disinterested, whatever the case is, it may be reflecting in how you take care of your body, i.e. how you eat or don't eat, okay? And then finally, you're going through some tough shit, friend. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Okay. So let's go ahead and get you some advice. Advice for Gemini. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing swords energy. I'm seeing ten of swords again. Um, okay. It's the house down. The house down. To go. Hey. <laughs> All right. The advice is the tower energy, the will of fortune, and the father of swords. I feel like this is saying tear this fucking shit down. <laughs> you are the tower. You invoke the tower in this instance to bring about positive change in your life, to bring about a new positive cycle where things are moving in your favor where you're actually doing what you love, okay? We have the owl in the Wheel of Fortune, as well as the owl showing up as the uh, father of swords. Now, everyone knows that the owl energy is about wisdom, but a lot of people may not know that the owl energy is also a symbol of change. Before, um, one of the biggest towers in my life, an owl showed up on my deck and just sat there. And then boom, tower. <laughs> so I feel like in this instance, you are being called to bring a tower about in your own life. Make a sudden change. Shake some shit up in your own life. To move this will in your favor. Do what is right for yourself with the Father of Swords. Okay, not what society thinks is right. Not what your family thinks is right. But do what is right for yourself. Okay. Okay. Postcard from Spirit. Let's hear it. Not four of them. We not. Postcards from Spirit. Let's hear it. Okay. So, your postcard from Spirit says, Dear you, there are many times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking a leap, no matter how dangerous it may seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings. Today is leap time. 
Realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown, get lost, or hurt in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you're in a free fall, we are here for you. You can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition to something new. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do the thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking the leap itself that's the point. We love your your courage. Embrace it. So Spirit is telling you to, um, let's go. It's go time. <laughs> you're not happy where you at, boo-boo? Fine. We're going to go to where you're going to be happy. But you're going to have to do the hard thing, and you're going to have to end this shit. All right? You're going to have to quit this job. You're going to have to leave this relationship. You're going to have to cut off these friends. Whatever it is that is holding you back from your purpose, you're going to have to do that to free yourself up to do what is in alignment with you. And Spirit saying, we got you. Let's go. We in a car with you. Let's get it. All right? So, Gemini, that is your message. If it resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you are looking for personal readings, all that information is in the description box, along with my Patreon, links to every single one of the cards that I use today, and all of my social media Oh, and my spiritual safe place group if you want to join. All right. So until the very next time that I read for y'all, Gemini, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.